Hello Minecraft fans, Dave Chaos here. I'm got another mod spotlight for you today. And we're gonna be looking at the paintball mod. And this is awesome. Check this out. Alright, so we're gonna start from the from armor. Um, you've got red and blue armor. Uh, so I'm gonna choose to blue. And you make this armor out of wool, and you you do it in the traditional way, so you know. The same patterns that you do for normal armor, Minecraft default armor, is the same for this armor. The only exception is it's made out of wool. So, let's get my armor on. Do, do, do. Oh, bloody hell. Shift click doesn't work for that yet. <laughs> right, and there we go. That's pretty cool. Now, there's a reason for this stuff, other than being good armor for um, playing paintball with. And uh, that'll come apparent pretty soon. So, okay paintballs. You've got red and blue. This is the recipe on how to make them. So it's just uh, blue or red. So you've got lapis and rose red there and you just surround it with glass and that gives you paintballs. So I'm going to choose the blue one considering I've gone for the blue armour. Um, and then this is the very basic weapon that you can make. Here's the recipe to make uh, the paintball pistol. So let's grab one of the pistols, put it over there. There we are. And like I said, there's, there's a recipe. I've just done two, so you can see the two different colours. Then we've got uh, the shotgun. So let's grab the shotgun. And there's a recipe for the shotgun. It's pretty similar. you just got an extra bit of uh, iron. Uh, and then we go over to the rifle. So I'm going to take the rifle. And again, same kind of recipe. You've just got an extra bit of iron there. Let's move along to the sniper rifle. So let's grab the sniper rifle. Again, this one is the same recipe, but it's got a piece of glass there, obviously for your sight. And then we've got, ah, the launcher. Let's grab the launcher. So that's, again, very similar. Just got a bit of gunpowder there. And then we're going to move on to grenades. Yay! So these are going to come in pretty handy. These are quite simple to make. Just surround your colour with iron. And then, last but not least, we've got claymores. So let's grab the claymore. In fact, yes, I want both the claymores so I can show you, demonstrate. And that's this is the recipe on how to make the claymore. So I'm going to show you these first before I move on to the, the next three items. Um, let's make sure I've got plenty of uh, balls, pellets, whatever you want to call them. Let's grab another stack of those. Uh, and I'm going to grab a bunch more of these as well. Do, do, do. The only stack in threes. Let's get a few. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to show you the rates of fire on these things. Um, so you get an idea of what they're like. So they've got sights. Uh, so you right, sorry, sorry, left click to get your sight up and then right click to fire. And it just fires out a pellet. One shot kill for a chicken. Dead. <laughs> okay, so let's try out the shotgun now. So again, you right click to zoom and then left click to fire and you see a massive spread of paintball balls there. <laughs> so you can't spam click that too much. I'm spam clicking now and you can see how often it fires. Uh, let's try out the, this is, um, let's see now, the rifle. So we're going for the rifle now. Right click. Let's, let's try and find some mobs. Let's try and find some mobs to shoot. Aha! Chickens! You're doomed! Ha <laughs> ha So this is like an automatic now. There it goes. Whee! Now, there's one thing I wanted to point out is um, I've checked and checked again uh, with the audio mod, which you have to use to install this thing. And uh, there doesn't seem to be any audio for the rifles, but there is for other things part of this mod. So, it's possible I've done something wrong, but I've double checked. But it's also possible, possible that there's, there's a bug somewhere. So. Fortunately, at the moment, for my video, I've not got any audio for the rifles because I just simply can't get it to work. But let's move on. Um, paintball sniper. So, again, right click to zoom. Whoa. And then left click to fire. Oh, we got the pig! Yay! So, this is quite similar um, to the SDK gun mod that some of you would be familiar with. Um, except this is paintballs and uh, red and blue. So, you know, it's. It's good. It's, it's different in other ways, I'll show you in a moment. So let's go on to the next one, which is the grenade launcher. So you need grenades for this one. So you can aim like that. 
let's, 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 and that takes a second for it to blow up, but there you go, so, there we go, so you can see the audio is working for some parts of the model, but not all of it, um, you don't have to scope with any of this, you can no scope with all of it, so let's fire some grenades off down there, blow up some bigs and cows, oh yeah, that's loads of fun, now, we've got the claymores, claymores are good, for uh, setting traps, you can place a claymore down like that, now these are supposed to have a distance of um, uh, one block, so you need to be one block close for it to go off, so let's try this out, hey, there we go, that's pretty much one block, now you'll notice, because I'm on the blue team, it doesn't damage you, so you can set off the blue team blocks, uh, claymores, but they won't damage you, whereas the red team's claymore damages me, see that, so it actually hurts me, and then of course you've got grenades, you can just launch them, and that'll blow up over there somewhere. I think I threw it too far. But there you go. So, that's pretty standard stuff. If you know the SDK gun mod, then, you know, it's it's fairly similar in that respect. But let's move all this out of the way. And now I'm going to show you the exciting stuff. So in here, we've got flags. So you're thinking, okay, flags, you know, big deal. Um, there's a recipe to make a flag. So let's grab a red one, considering I'm blue, and then we've got uh, a scanner, so let's grab a blue scanner, and let's also grab a blue instabase, check this out, oh, so the scanners um, are basically like half pla uh, um, pressure plates, sorry, they're like pressure plates, so the recipe for them is just two wool, wool blow box, and that's how you do that, now this is exciting, I'll show you in a moment what it does, but there's the recipe for it, this is an insta base, and basically what it does is it instantly makes a base, and I'll show you what that's like. So there's a recipe for the insta base. So let's start with the flag. So the flag goes down as an entity. So you can actually nudge it around, and you can one shot pick it up. Now this is good if you want to set up a capture the flag sort of um, map. It's awesome because you just chuck the flag down, and then obviously you've got one on your side, one on the enemy side, and they've got a Stop the enemy team from capturing it. Did I mention that this is a multiplayer? No, I probably didn't, but yeah. This is multiplayer mod. I'm actually playing it in single player at the moment, but this works on a server. So, right, now for the exciting stuff. The insta base, you just get your block after you've crafted it, find yourself a little area, and just put it down. Ah. Okay. Not enough space. Let's, uh should be able to do it about here. Go! Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Let's try a little cheat that I've seen. Put that there, put it on top. Way! There we go. So, let me just put the sun back up. And so, this is an instant base. Let's, uh, block there. And what you can do, now the detector block's been moved, but there we go. What the detector block does is, let me show you, when you've got a full set of armour on, um, blue armour for the blue base, it'll it'll detect it and it'll open the door. So what I've done, is you just see me take my helmet off, so I can show you this. It doesn't work, the pressure plate doesn't work, and it'd be the same if you were in red armour. So if I've got a full suit of blue armour on, Ta-da! It opens the door. How clever is that? But check this this place out. This is awesome. So you get yourself a crafting table, a furnace, and this chest. The chest is packed full of two sets of armour, basically, which is brilliant. So you could just craft yourself an instant base, or if you're running a server, you can just have, you know, um, the instant base block in a chest, and then just let people go and do what they like. Uh, set up their base wherever they want. So you've got like the little tower where you can do some sniping from. And of course, you know, if this was the blue flag, this is where you could have the blue flag. Um, it would give them a reason for blowing this place up and smashing the doors down. But um, if they don't have a way of breaking in, you know, and say the flag's in the middle, they would, uh, you know, everything's pretty safe. So yeah, that's pr ah, yeah. So, I think um, 
it doesn't know what to do with grass. I think that's what the problem was, why I couldn't put it down. But there we go. So that, that's, that's that mod, basically. That's pretty much everything that's involved in it. I think it's awesome. I'd love to try this out on multiplayer. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please rate it, thumbs up, all that business. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye.